Hey guys, I am back with another video and today I'm gonna do a makeup look using full coverage makeup and I'm gonna talk about some tips and tricks, some steps that you can take without your makeup looking cakey. And if you're in my age group, 50 and above, you might find a little bit of these helpful. All right, first up, I'm gonna use the Inky Liz Caffeine Eye Cream. You always, always, always want to do an appropriate under eye prep, especially if you are going to use a full coverage concealer. All right, so next up, you really wanna get a good hydrator. And the one that I have here is the Clinique ID Custom Blend Hydrator. And the little blue cartridge helps with your texture. So as you use it, it's supposed to smooth out the texture and just make your skin less bumpy. And the clear jelly does an awesome job of hydrating your skin. All right, so I'm gonna do some more eye prep and this is the Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Eye Mask. These are the gold eye mask and these are gonna do a really good job of plumping the skin and hydrating the skin. Remember, we're using a full coverage concealer. So we wanna have our under eyes as hydrated as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave these masks on while I do my additional steps. All right, so next up, I'm gonna go in with this Morphe Luminous Setting Spray, and you may be like, well, don't you use it, that at the end? But I've actually found that it works right after you apply your skincare. It has glycerin in it, which locks in the moisture. It also has coconut water and apple extract. All right, next up, I have my Clinique full coverage foundation and I'm just going to lightly powder my brows. This is just a step that I like to do because I feel as though it helps whatever product you're using to apply better, be it a pencil or a gel or just whatever. I think that it looks better if you just set them before, mainly because of all of the skincare that you apply. You just don't want a lot of slipping going on. All right, so now it's time for brows. And I have the Tarte Sketch and Set Brow Pencil and Tinted Gel. You get your pencil on one side and you get the tinted gel on the other. I really like this because it's got Babasu in it, which nurtures and conditions the brow hairs. It's got Amazonian clay, which minimizes oil around the hair follicle. And it also has vitamin E, which acts as an emollient and antioxidant. All right, so to cover up my brows, I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape full coverage concealer. Guys, full on, full coverage. All right, so the best thing about this though is the shea butter, the mango butter, and the licorice root that it contains, all of which are going to moisturize the skin, helps the skin elasticity, and also helps with dark circles and to color correct. So next up, I'm gonna go ahead and take these eye patches off and I'm gonna gently tap in the excess product. All right, so we're gonna add some more hydration and we're gonna use this Pro Collagen Insta Smooth Primer by Elemis. Okay, so this one is a bit on the pricier side, but it's got a lot of good ingredients. The reason that I wanted to add it is because it's formulated with Italian glacial water and Fadina Pavonica, which is a hybrid formula, which leaves the skin feeling quenched and hydrated. And another bonus ingredient that it has in here is natural marine extract. So I would just challenge you just to go and look at the website and check out all the good things that this particular primer has in it. Plus on Ulta, it's almost got a five-star review. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set that Tarte Shape Tape Full Coverage Concealer and I'm just gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Powder. All right, so now for the fun part, eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the Juvia's Place Nubian 3 Coral Palette and I'm gonna use a total of four shades, two at the top and two at the bottom.
right, so now I'm gonna add a little eyeliner and this is the Tattoo Studio by Maybelline. All right, so now we're in for the foundation and this is the Even Better Refresh Hydrating and Repairing Makeup Foundation by Clinique. And this hands down has got to be the most comfortable full coverage foundation that I have tried. It's got hyaluronic acid in it. It has potent peptides as well as salicylic acid. And you all know the salicylic acid helps to retexturize the skin. So it's made without fragrance, oil, parabens, and all of that trash. And I'm only applying a little um, just in my problem areas only because I'm going to go back in with the Clinique Full Coverage Powder Foundation. So when you're applying your liquid foundation, just apply it in the problem areas and blend it out really well. My tool of choice is a brush. You could use a sponge, whatever makes you uh, more comfortable. Some people use their hands, whatever works best for you. After I have that all applied, I'm gonna go in with a powder and apply some powder to set it. All right, so as my under eye highlight, I'm gonna use this Bobbi Brown concealer, and this is a full coverage concealer. I'm blending it out with a brush. You only need a little, and if you're not careful, this particular concealer can kind of get away from you. Again, I'm using a brush to kind of blend it out. Here lately, that's been my tool of choice. So I have my under eye highlight at my chin, right up under my nose and my forehead. So I'm gonna go ahead and set everywhere that I highlighted with this Jacqueline Under Eye Brightening Powder, and this is an apricot. This is another one that can kind of get away from you. Be careful with it, you only need a little. The shade Apricot, to me, is a very flattering shade for my skin tone. If you're ever in Ulta, definitely swatch it and see how it looks on your skin. Now I'm going to add a little cream bronzer, and this is actually new to my collection. This is by Pacifica. I like it because it's really creamy, it blends well, and I feel as though it plays well with a lot of the other products that I use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. So I'm not going to use a bronzer powder for this. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Clinique powder foundation at the end, which you'll see in just a second. Okay, so right here I have a Clinique powder foundation. This is full coverage, guys. That's why when I applied my liquid foundation, I only applied it a little, just in problem areas because I knew I was gonna come back with a full coverage powder foundation. I will link a video up above where I go into detail how to use powder foundations only and just totally skipping the liquid. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a cream blush, and this is by Milk Makeup. Very, very creamy. You gotta be careful with cream products when you're applying them over a powder. You can apply a cream over a powder or vice versa. You just need to make sure that they play well together. Some creams don't play well with other powders, but most times I never have a problem. I'm only giving a light wash of the blush. All right, and last up we have the, all right, so next up we have lips. So I'm using a LA Girl lip liner, and after that, I'm gonna use a lip lacquer, and these lip lacquers are so pigmented. I think the packaging is super cute as well, and I think those lip lacquers are on sale right now at Walmart. <laughs>
Okay, so to kind of counteract all of the powders and things like that and help us look a little bit more radiant, I'm going to go in with this Laura Mercier Light Catcher Powder. I believe this color is Cosmic Rose. This is so beautiful. I don't think that this was like a fan fave when this initially came out, but if you have mature skin, you definitely need to try it. Here, I'm putting on my lashes and I'm going to pop on some mascara and to set it, I'm going to use the one size on till dawn mattifying setting spray and that is a very it's interesting because the setting spray is not very mattifying but you can tell that your makeup is locked in place and it's not going anywhere so that's it guys this is the final look let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these products if you like them or if you don't like them let me know i'd love to hear about it Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.